Who the fuck is that? Uh. Mm. Howdy, folks. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I'm sure that you did, and I did as well. I did. I was all holly and jolly and all that good stuff. Did you have some egg rolls? I could have, just earlier tonight, went to Peking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got me some yum yum thoth. So, uh, I saved some time. I'm going to pour some sauce on my balls a little bit later and uh -huh. let you go to town. It's always about your balls, I've noticed, too. I don't know why. The balls is sensitive. I don't know why either. But anyway, we both had a great holiday. And this is a, a holiday tradition that we've done for at least a couple of years now. It's the uh, unwrapping of the Dead Pit True that. Festivus. Yeah, and last year, uh, I was actually looking back at last year because I really had forgotten what we got each other. Do you remember what we got each other last year? I have year? no earthly idea. Um, you got me the WWE Encyclopedia, which I can see right over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, the Celebration Day Blu-ray. That's right, that's right, yeah. And I got you um, the Jason mask. Uh -huh. It was the Part uh -huh. 8 mask. And Video Drum Blu-ray. Oh, the Video Drum Blu-ray. Yeah, I love Criterion, that freaking movie. Criterion Collection, so... This is the second year we've done this, and uh, hopefully everybody out there enjoy because we got gifts to unwrap. And let's go ahead and kick this some bitch off. Uncle Bill's got two gifts. You only got one. I know. Been a bad boy this I don't year. Know what I was thinking. What I was thinking. Here's gift number one, and you can see I dressed it to the right person. Dick shooter. There you go. Are you ready? I'm excited. Let's see what Uncle Bill's got. You're going to let me into the package, aren't you? Oh, oh I'm going to get it. I hope this is one you don't have. Oh, fuck yes. I don't have this. I do not have this. Mm. I've been looking forward to this. Mm. Because it's awesome. It's the Shout Factory uh, Psycho 2. Pull her up a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Oh, these damn things are always uh, expensive as free. Well, you better give me some sugar for that. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm. Oh, this is great, though. Yep. So you got, uh, you got... I actually have seen the transfer. That's fucking awesome. I've sure got a copy of that. You got audio commentary with Tom Holland. You got uh, audio interviews with Anthony Perkins. A bunch of other shit on here. And I'll be watching the piss out of this. This is my favorite uh, Psycho sequel. I won't say it's my favorite Psycho movie, but it's definitely... Well, my favorite sequel. Psycho sequel is probably Psycho for the beginning. You can see Olivia Huffith. Booba, booba. And that's the only reason you like that movie, by the way. Well, that and Mick Garris did. I mean, I love Mick Garris' hairstyle. He's had it for 30 years. Mick Garris is the king of making average movies. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even say average. I'd say uh, below average Well, he's shitty. not like Uwe Boll bad or anything, but he's uh, he just no. makes like passable. But he, yeah, he films. definitely makes uh, some shitty films for sure. Critters 2 is another one. I'm gonna go ahead and give you this one, and then you can uh, you can open that one if you'd like. Hmm. Blu-ray there. Hmm. Well, thumb for it. I wonder what it could be. If you don't like this, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Blu-ray there. Woo! This is one I didn't have. And I come a hair from actually ordering this too, but it's one that I didn't order. Oh. Hmm. It's the Amityville Horror Trilogy. It's three discs. It's three Blu-ray discs, both. So technically, fuck you. I got you more than you got me. <laughs> oh, uh, not yet. You don't know what I got you next. That's true. I don't. You gonna shit? You gonna shit your pink bloomers full? I don't know. But this one, uh, I'm actually a big fan of the Amityville movies, and I honestly wish, although that's probably not gonna happen, because a lot of these movies were, like, especially after these this initial three Amityville films. They were all kind of like direct to video releases and stuff like that. So I don't even think they shot that shit on film. <laughs> but it'd be cool to have like a whole box set of all the Amityville movies. The, the second one I still think is like a really underrated great movie. And the weird thing about this one is I'm sure it won't work worth a damn, but it, the 3D is actually has the 3D glasses and everything. Well, it's the Blu-ray Blu 3 Yeah, you can yeah, watch you can it in see 3D. That there. Thank you, bud, man. Oh, you win. Mm -hmm. So anyway, hey, like my cologne I got. Katrina got mad. Mm. Oh, I don't know why, but that's... Doesn't that make you want to fuck me? That's making me want to molest you a lot right now. That's good. I like it. But anyway, 
Yeah, there you go. It's been a, a Scream Factory Christmas so far. It really has. Actually, uh, this is my second Scream Factory Blu-ray. I got the uh, Assault on Precinct 13 from uh, from them recently too, which is, looks fucking amazing. And I still think that that's probably one of my favorite releases of theirs, just because I love that movie so much. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to. And honestly, I'm not a fan of Amityville 3, but I'm I'm definitely curious about the 3D aspect. So I'll definitely check that out. But yeah, Scream Factory, they've set the fucking world on fire this year, or this I can't, in like I made a list, it, hold on a second, actually, that'd be something I need to do right now. I actually made a list of all the Blu-rays that I wanted to buy from them. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> going to equal out to being about four, five hundred dollars <laughs> And this is just, this is not even all the ones I wanted, this is just the ones that I figured that I could actually like, you know, afford or whatever. So you got uh, Psycho 2 and 3. You got Prince of Darkness, which I still don't have. You got the Day of the Dead Collector's Edition, uh, and then I got like, I got like another list of these that I'd made a while back too. Um, you had Salt on Precinct Thirteen, which I actually got. Right, they released a lot of Carpenter related stuff. The like Vincent it. Price Collection, which I have not got. Did you get that? I actually do have that. Oh, they had it on sale for. Uh, <laughs> they had it on sale for. Uh, oh God. 35 bucks uh, Amazon for a while, so that's when I picked it up. <sighs> and a lot uh, of sales this past... Look, here's the thing. I bought a lot of gifts. But I bought a lot of fucking shit for myself because some of these sales... I'm fucking not broke, Uncle Bill, but I'm badly bent. Yeah, me too. Like, this... <laughs> this, <laughs> this year's kind of uh, raped my wallet. No, no joke. Like, there's but so yeah. many people to buy for. Yeah, this definitely marks one big one off that uh, Scream Factory list, so I thank you. So there's some sort of mystery gift that you you've been talking about. I'm dying to know what this is. Hey, it's a softing. All right, boys. All right. It's a softing. It's soft and malleable. If you don't fucking shit your bloomers full over this one, boys. This is interesting. Inter this interview's over. That's all I'm gonna say. It's to, it's to Peter Beater. Peter Beater. From you. Yep. Oh, that's nice. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, there ain't no fucking way. Oh my god. Yeah, I actually, uh, this is amazing. I actually saw this shirt one time. This is like, ah. my, it's like one of my favorite shirts. Oh yeah. I saw this at, uh, I'm probably gonna get killed for even saying this at Hot Topic one time if they didn't have like any size that was even near the size that I needed. What's awesome about this shirt though, feel the fucking material. I love it. I know. How, like it's fucking like heather gray material, but it's purple. It's, there's something about the shirt too. The fact that it's like purple. It's one of the only shirts I've ever had that's purple that actually looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Well, the, they actually I got this from WWE, uh -huh. which are they're smart. They're actually making these shirts again. Um, but they had like a bunch of different colors. But this was the color the shirt originally was. Yeah. So that's why I chose that color. Yeah, it's an amazing. It's probably one of my, no. It's not probably one of my. It's probably my favorite like wrestling design shirt. It's a classic T-shirt. And it looks exactly like the, you know, I guess the t-shirt in the mid-80s when it mm -hmm. came out. So, I figured that'd be one that you could wear. Probably a little bit uh, later in the year. It's a real thin shirt, so you wear it in the summertime and shit, or wear it around the house. No, I just wear it like I've been wearing these and just put like a Put your something on. under it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. 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 A cup of coffee in the morning, the big time, yeah. Mm. The cup of coffee, put that in a cup of coffee. Mm. Cream of the crop, really? Just to the Funky top. like a monkey. Uh, R.I.P. Macho Man. They should have put your fucking ass in the Hall of Fame when you was alive. If God he didn't uh, molest Stephanie, they probably would have. He did something. But he did. He did something bad. But anyway, that is it. I hope everybody out there, like we said, had a Merry Christmas and, um, you know, Happy New Year upon us coming up here in a couple of days. going to be 2014, Uncle Bill. It is. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, just stay away from the Peter. That's always my yeah. New Year's resolution. And, and if you get on the whiskey, let somebody else drive. That's true, too. So, anyway, that's it. But remember, we're also going to have a live Q&A this Sunday at 6.05 on YouTube. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? It's 6.05. That's when it started. 6.05 on the mothership, daddy. Mm. So, stay tuned for that. And post your questions on that video as well. And it'll be as long as we want it to be because, God damn it, I ain't going back to work until this Thursday. Yeah, me either. Fuck you, look.
fuck you, I ain't going back here. So anyway, keep it creepy and stay tuned. Creepy Pierce. Dot com wrist.